see if this thing is working. Hi everybody and uh, welcome in this video and I just want to make this video because last weekend I did a really short bikepacking race, unsupported one, and I want to just create this video about my setup for everyone who want to do like first bikepacking trip or first bikepacking uh, race uh, with friend or uh, solo and I want to like uh, explain you what I brought for my race so for you it can be like kind of like small list of tips what to bring with you or maybe what to avoid to bring but also I want to mention that this is like my system that uh, I'm still like working on so I hope this will be also helpful for you I want to split this video on a couple of sections and the first one will be uh, my frame back uh, inside the bike. So I want to start with the top one. There is like the place where I'm like storing all my cables for the device, also my power bank, but all the tools that I need for fixing my bike uh, and some small essential kit for like cleaning myself where uh, there are like toothbrush, uh, toothpaste, shower gel uh, but also I have here my uh, first aid kit because you have to remember to always have the first aid kit with you and uh, remember about that. About the bottom bag there is like my sleeping system when I have uh, my sleeping mat from Decathlon and also my BV bag from uh, the brand Alpa kit and they are like really lightweight and really easy to pack but also on the other side of this bag I have uh, my uh, warm kit which is like with leg warmers and uh, arm warmers that I can easily like take them out from the bag and just like wear it if the weather condition like change so I think it's worked really well to have all this like stuff in this part of the bike and uh, for me it was like no brainer to have them there. Another part uh, of my setup is my saddle bag and what I have there. There's also like the part of my sleeping system. So I have there my uh, tarp. I also have there my sleeping bag, small bag with my clothes for sleeping. I'm not taking that much clothes for like bike packing races because I don't need the clothes uh, during this like races and the last thing is my rain jacket that is like in the front of the bag so I also have like easy access for that but this system works really well because it's like easy pack and unpack during the race if I need to like set up my sleeping system really fast everything is like uh, easy to access and yeah for now works really great the last bag from my setup is a uh, bag in the front of my aero bar. This is the place where I'm like storage all my gels and uh, power bars and some snacks. So during the ride I can really easy have uh, access to them and eat during the ride. And also I have there like my sunscreen and like lip balm. But I don't want to like have this like uh, place like packet with the stuff. This is like the only place for food uh, that I need during the ride. Before that race I was thinking to maybe like change some like stuff uh, for my bag because after the race in Slovenia I was missing something. So what I did for that race, first I just like changed my tires from wider one to kind of like small size from 50 to 33 millimeters because I really wanted to check myself if I can just like ride faster and in my opinion it was a really good choice about like really fast ride but for my opinion this like Panaraiso Gravel Kings SK not working really well for me if we're talking about like riding on the like really rocky trails or like uh, trails with mud because I wasn't feel really comfortable during that ride and there was like small episode that I just fall down from my bike because I don't have like the grip on the trail Definitely I will be using these tires during my bikepacking trip when I have like the mix of the terrain which were like trail and road. Another change in my bike was the chain and cassette because after the Slovenia uh, my bike mechanic said that we need to like change the cassette from this really small one to the big one so I can like climb some hills really easy and also my chain after like all this 
crazy uh, road in Slovenia and Croatia was kind of like done so we changed that and right now it's like even easier and I'm feeling more comfortable I can go even faster with like uh, my light setup on the bike so that was really great decision because I have this frame back I had to figure out what will be my water system for the bike so this time I didn't put like the water flask inside my uh, frame back in the bottom and I just bought like this uh, rack for the water bottles uh, for the saddle from Amazon and actually it works really well and uh, I didn't have like any issue with the bottles like some of my friends mentioned that I need to be really careful because on like the bumpy trails I can lose the bottles but I found this System. but if you put like some like rubbers and just like stick them to the bottles they work really really well and your bottle is not really shaky during like all these bumpy trails and this is like my tip if you want to buy this system uh, for your water bottles and the last new part uh, of my bike it's this Ario bar from the Decathlon and on the internet I saw like many people are using uh, this thing uh, on bike packing races uh, so I just give it a try and definitely in the future I will be using this thing a lot because uh, some of the people said that it's like the best way when you have like shivers in your hand and you just want to take a rest but still ride so you're just like putting your arms over there and you can just like cycle and like have some snacks or be even faster and I also check my Strava and actually on the flat section I was like a little bit faster and even with the strong wind I was feeling more comfortable to cycle comparing this to my friend so it was really great decision to put that on the bike and I also highly recommend to do that you can just like give a try maybe borrow from the friend and just like do a quick ride and you can easily feel the change uh, of this thing on your bike so the last part I want to talk it's like the gear I should like uh, leave at home before next bike packing race and I think I just want to get rid of like some other clothes that I have with me and they were like not really necessary every time I try to reduce like the numbers of clothes and I'm like still learning that you know sometimes you don't need like three pairs of socks like two or one pair extra it's okay and this is like the one thing and another one it's my sleeping system because this time I didn't use my uh, BV bag at all uh, with like this temperature I was feeling comfortable to sleep like only on like under my tarp and like the tarp uh, on the ground and just use my sleeping mat I have really warm sleeping bag so I was really comfortable during the nights but even it's better to check the weather if you're going uh, for a race so you won't be surprised uh, but maybe in the future I will buy this like small and light with BV bag that will be smaller because this one that I have right now it was too big and I think I can just like save more space so that's only like the two things that I probably want to change in the future if I want to go for unsupported bikepacking race so this is everything about my setup uh, from uh, the last race and if you have like any questions about the gear and uh, like other things about the bikepacking or unsupported bikepacking races just let me know uh, in the comments and thank you for being here and uh, see you on the next adventure